and welcome to a new vlog. I will say my voice sounds a little bit funny this morning, but it might just be to me. I can't really tell. But it is Tuesday right now. I did not vlog at all yesterday because I was working on like just a couple hours of sleep and I knew that I just needed to take it easy. But today I am vlogging and I'm hoping to vlog every day this week, but we'll see what happens. I actually have kind of a crazy week. <laughs> is this a trend? Do I say this every week? Yes, I do. But basically today I have parent teacher conferences after school, which luckily I got most of mine done last week. So I don't have like a ton of conferences today, which will be kind of nice. Uh, so I have like I think an at least an hour where I don't have anybody in my room So I'm hoping to just do some prepping for later this week because uh, My only days this week is I had yesterday Which was just like a tiring day because I was exhausted, but it went really well And then today which is a normal day and then I have conferences and then tomorrow which is like fairly normal I think and then I'm actually out Thursday Friday because I am going to a conference in Detroit it's called McCall and it's a technology conference and I'm really really looking forward to getting some new ideas and just seeing what kinds of tools and I don't know tips and tricks and whatnot they can teach me about technology basically my school is not one-to-one -one, so I am a little bit um, apprehensive about that because I'm not, just, I don't know I'm just kind of wondering if like every other school that's there is gonna be one-to-one -one, and if some of the ideas are not gonna be applicable to my school and my situation but we'll definitely find out and either way I love conferences I love learning and I feel like that's part of the reason why teaching is the perfect job for me is because I love learning and I love knowing more and more and more so anyways <clears throat> That's Thursday, Friday, so I'm out all day those days. So I need to prep for a sub, which it is a lot of work to prep for a sub for a whole day, especially. It's one thing to prep, prep for a half day, which I have to do quite often with my meetings and stuff, but a whole day is like kind of intimidating. So I have that, and then this weekend, I really have a chill weekend. We're gonna celebrate my brother's birthday and stuff like that. But uh, then I'm also out next week, Monday, and my kids have a field trip that day, which I'm kind of bummed I'm missing. But uh, I have to be at a different tech training because I'm on my district's tech team. So just a lot of substitute <laughs> plans that I have to make right in a row. But I know that it is going to be just fine. And I'm going to miss my kids a lot. But I know that they'll be fine without me. They did really, really well for the sub that they had last week Friday. So that was awesome. So anyways, this morning I do need to do some prepping, so I'm going to work on some things this morning. Uh, I did do all of my plans for the week last week, so I could kind of feel like calm and collected about this week. Uh, but there are a couple things I decided I want to change and move around because that's how teaching works. I feel like sometimes you make all your plans and then you decide you want to do something different. So <clears throat> I have an iced coffee from McDonald's this morning keeping me company. And I think my mom's going to come in later today and help out, which I just remember. I printed a bunch of stuff and I left it at home shoot oh well so anyways <clears throat> I will have to have her work on that stuff another day I guess but for today I will see you when I see you <laughs> So it is 8.30 p.m. right now, and I just finished up with conferences. I actually had conferences until 8 p.m., and then I had one parent who came a little bit later and wanted to chat, so we just chatted really quick. And I'm in a really good mood. I feel like my parents this year, like my kids' parents, are amazing. They are so receptive to hearing what I have to say, and I just feel like they respect me, and they've been so welcoming to me as a first-year teacher. So I just feel really, really good. I feel respected, and I feel like... Um, my kids parents are just awesome and I feel like they're you know doing their work at home and doing their work to make sure the kids are doing their work so that's awesome um, but I just went ahead and quickly tried to take care of a couple things in my room to make sure I'm ready for the day tomorrow and I feel really good because I had already planned for everything this week last week because I knew that I didn't want to do any planning over the weekend when I was in Miami and so I really went above and beyond like what I usually do to make sure I had all my copies done and like everything done which usually I have to make copies of like something during the week but I really haven't had to so I've been able to prep everything for next week so I'm already like ahead of the game and that feels really good so I have a feeling this weekend is going to be a little bit more relaxing and I'm just looking forward to that so that'll be nice so anyways I did just want to check in with you guys though and say hey how you doing and I also I don't think I showed you yet so I wanted to show you the rewards 
that we've gotten for our little hamster for March's reading month because if you guys remember in a previous vlog, I talked about how for March's reading month, we are doing the one school, one book, or one book, one school, I don't know, for spring according to Humphrey, which actually I have a copy of on the back table, so let me just get my steps in really quick. The co-workers that I have in my building and I, so the other like teachers and staff members, um, a lot of us do a work week hustle on our Fitbit, so I'm always trying to get those extra steps in. <laughs> you know it. So anyways, I <laughs> have my book right here. This is a book that every student in the school either got this one or they got a different one in the series. So it's super cute. It's a really fun book if you haven't read the series before. The kids love it. And then I showed in a previous vlog, I have a little basket of other Humphrey books right here. And we have our little pet hamster Humphrey. So every single classroom in the school got this little stuffed animal, the same one, and we all got to name it and make it a cage. And I actually just had this cage already. My mom brought it for me. It was like, it actually housed a mouse at one time, I think, or a hamster or something. Um, I put his name right here, which is Lil Fluff. And then we earned all these rewards for Lil Fluff. So we have like food over here, we have a water bottle, we have a little umbrella, we have a purple flower and a nest. He got a little wheel and he got Og the Frog up there. So he is pretty well decked out at this point. We have had a lot of awesome readers this month and honestly every month because my kids love to read, which is awesome. So thought I would just show you a little update on Lil Fluff because he is so stinking cute and the kids love him. Actually, I've had a couple kids in the class who have decided to sit over here during silent reading time and like quietly whisper read to him, which I think is so cute. So anyways, that's Lil Fluff. He's living his best life. And then over here, I still have my display from Black History Month, month which was February. But I honestly love it so much, I like don't want to take it down. And the kids love these books. Like I think every single kid in my room has read at least two or three of these at this point, if not like all of them. I have a couple of kids in the class who have literally read all of these books. So I know I need to switch it over, but I just love how this looks. Like I think it's so cool and I think it's really important. And I've emphasized to my kids so many times, like we shouldn't just read these books during Black History Month, like we should read them always. And these are all books that are like some of my favorites, so. If you haven't read this one specifically, I got this one from Scholastic. It was only like five or eight dollars. Like it was not expensive and it is amazing. Let me just open it up and walk you through it a little bit. It is such a cool set of biographies. Like I just love these types of books where it does kind of like a condensed biography. So you get to know like a lot of different people. I have a lot of books like this, but I love this one. I think the illustrations are so cool. I love that it's not just photographs. It's actually like illustrations of the people. I think that makes it like really interesting for kids. And it's a nice mix of people who are like current day and people who are, um, have like been influenced throughout history. So I love, 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 love this book. So anyways, if you're looking for a new good book, definitely check this one out. I think like most of my kids in the class have read it at this point and they all really have enjoyed it. So that's been a popular one in our classroom library. And yeah, I love it. So anyways, I am going to eat for the night because it is kind of late and I like to be home every once in a while because I'm not very good at doing that. So anyways, I'm gonna head out and then I will check in with you guys tomorrow. guys so now it is Wednesday it is March 20th and I just got to my classroom it's actually a little bit later than I usually get in it's ooh, that was exciting <laughs> technical difficulties let's try this again all right <laughs> as I was saying before my tripod decided to give out it's actually considerably later than I usually get here because I spent some time this morning doing some laundry and then packing for a conference that I leave for tonight actually so I just got back from a conference in Miami and then now I'm going to a conference in Detroit it's called McCall and I honestly don't know what it stands for off the top of my head but it's a technology based conference and I'm going with a few other teachers from my district as well as my principal and I'm really excited Excited. It should be fun. I was looking over the schedule today and or like the program I guess today and uh, it seems like there's a lot of really really good like sessions and uh, a couple keynotes we're gonna go to and stuff like that so I'm excited for that but uh, I did have to stay a little bit late last night and prep my sub tub 
sub tub, which is just like my little sub basket, which I don't know if I've really talked about before. So let me grab it really quickly and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is my sub tub. This is just a little tub that I got from, I believe Michael's, I'm pretty sure. And then I just put some vinyl on it that says sub tub and it also says it on the side right here because this lives under my desk and it's usually turned like this so you can see it this way. This is jam packed right now because I'm actually out for the next three days, three school days um, in different conferences and meetings. And so there's a lot in here right now. Usually there's not quite this much, but in here is always my sub binder, which I always but that the sub plans are inside so the people know to actually open it when you open it up I don't want to show you guys because it does have some personal information in here but on the left inside pocket there are the sub plans and then on the right side is a class list a seating chart and just some other information about my classroom so that's in there and then also I include all of the copies needed so on this one I have copies for Thursday copies for Friday which I try not to leave a ton of worksheets so there's not like a ton of stuff in here but there are some things and then copies for Monday because I'm out Monday as well and then in this blue folder I always just put like extra work so if there's any extra time during the day and the sub like doesn't really know what to do with it that way there's just like something extra and I always include a no write zone which is just all of the answer keys for everything that the kids do during the day so that way they can check their answers or if the sub isn't familiar with the content he or she can check the answers so just a little tip I think that's a good thing to do because especially in fourth grade there's a lot of really tricky content and so sometimes the subs just don't feel super confident confident in either checking their work or um, being able to guide them along so it's nice for the kids to be able to check their own work or for the sub to be able to walk around with the answer key and check and kind of help out and then also I include some star tickets in here um, eventually I'll put the whole roll in here at the end of the day today but star tickets are just one of my behavior incentives and on Fridays we do like a star ticket drawing and so I include those in there just so they're kind of um, in one central place so the sub knows where to get them so all that fun stuff is in there and that seems to work really really well for me i also always put in like a little candy bar or something for my subs and in my sub plans i say like the treat in the sub tub is for you please make sure that you enjoy it um because i think it is important to appreciate subs i subbed for quite a while after graduating um and while i was um, in college and i just know how hard subbing can be so i try to make the subs life as easy as possible with having all of the information in one place because the worst thing as a sub is getting into a classroom and either not being able to find the lesson plans or not being able to find the papers or whatever it might be like that's so stressful as a sub so I think it's helpful to just have it all in one place I've gotten really really good feedback from my subs about how I do my sub plans and how I organize all of my materials for the day I try to be very uh, descript or um, descriptive I guess with my sub plans without giving too much information where it's like overwhelming like I don't do big blocks of writing I do like bullet points instead so if you guys are interested in seeing a whole video just on how I plan for a sub or um, something like that tips for planning for subs or whatever I would definitely be more than willing to do that because I do have a lot of subs in my room I'm at a lot of meetings and I feel like I'm constantly doing something in the district uh, as a new teacher I have lots and lots of meetings and committees that I'm on and stuff like that so I do miss quite a bit of school and have subs in my room often and I feel like I've gotten pretty good at preparing for the subs so if you're interested in that definitely just let me know but anyways this morning I need to go print a couple of things for the conference that I'm going to just so I can have like the whole program printed out I'm sure they'll give me one when I get there but I like to just be able to like look it over beforehand and think about what sessions I'd like to go to and all of that fun stuff so I will try to check in with you guys at some point I will say at the conference I am sharing a hotel room and it's with somebody who I don't know super well so I don't know how much I'll really be able to vlog but I'm hoping I'll be able to vlog um, some little bits and pieces at least so anyways I will see you guys when I see you hopefully sometime today <laughs> okay but this is pretty cool right Hey there guys, so it is Thursday now, I had to think about it, Thursday, and it is around 5 o'clock p.m., and I just got back to my hotel room, as you can tell. 
I went to McCall all day today, the sessions, the keynote, all that fun stuff, and I feel like I got a lot of good information. I have a lot of different ideas of things that I want to try out in my classroom, different like apps and websites, all that fun stuff, but I am exhausted. I am not used to sitting all day. Like I constantly am walking around my classroom. I never, ever, ever really sit, and so sitting all day made me like totally zonked. So. Anyways, it was nice just walking back to the hotel and getting like some fresh air and moving around. Um, but yeah, I like physically cannot sit all day. So anyways, I feel like kind of out of it. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna relax in my hotel for just a little bit. We're gonna go out to dinner a little bit later. And I do have a roommate as well and she is still at the conference. She's finishing up a session, I believe, and then she was gonna walk back. So we are staring, staring, we are staying at the um, Renaissance Marriott in Detroit. It's right downtown and it's a really nice hotel. It's really, really pretty and it's huge. Um, right now my view out the window is this, which is another Marriott building. And then over there we have the river. Um, um, I am pretty sure that is Canada over there, I think. Pretty sure, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. And this is my view over this way. So, yeah, looking pretty cool. Looking like a dirty glass right here that you can't really see through, but other than that, yeah. Hey there guys, so I am just about to go down to dinner for the night and I edited all of this video up until this point and I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? It's already like 16 minutes long. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here because I probably won't be vlogging tomorrow at all anyways because we're just going to a couple of sessions in the morning and then we're driving back and then I'm not gonna be in my classroom again. So um, I think I am going to end it here. I might start a new vlog this weekend when I'm in my classroom, otherwise I'll start one next week. But thank Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember that you are incredibly beautiful and loved and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.